just FYI, we're having a heat wave. So of course, like when I want to film, it never fails. Like on the days I, I don't need to film, the weather's beautiful. When I need to film, it's like, oh, sweaty USA population youth. Today's video is going to be a black and white themed lookbook, so all the outfits are black and white. There's one that has a little tiny hint of color, but it's like a white and black skirt with like a little tiny bit of color. And there's one outfit that's mostly black, but otherwise it's very, it's the duality of the two and I love the graphicness of black and white together. It's just one of my favorite themes to do with clothing. And the other thing that I'm really excited about, and I have been working on this for quite some time, so I'm, I'm so excited to like finally launch this and share this with you guys. Today I'm launching my Gwenny B style file and what that is is it's a page on my website where I have every single outfit that I've ever borrowed from Gwenny B all compiled together so you guys can kind of get a better idea of the things that I've borrowed over time you can kind of see the evolution of my own personal style the evolution of the things available on Gwenny B but more than just being like pretty pictures of me wearing pretty clothes each like outfit it's going to have like a little mini review so I'll talk about the size that I rented it in my thoughts feelings comments concerns about the item itself I'm also going to give information about like if I purchased the item if I rented it for a long period of time if I sent it back immediately things like that I thought that that would be helpful as like a little mini review of each individual item now some of these things aren't available to closet anymore but that's not really entirely the point it's really about showing you guys the benefit of renting through Gwenny B because so much of the clothes I've worn in the last year have been from Gwenny B. I just freaking love it. I talked about that extensively in my previous Gwenny B video. Part of my Gwenny B style file, I'm going to have some information about Gwenny B just generally, like the membership, um, how you join, things like that. Just it's a little different from just like going to Tord and buying a dress. So I want to give a little bit more information about the membership itself. For those of you who are not familiar with Gwenny B, it is a clothing rental subscription service. They do offer a 30-day free trial, so if you'd like to click the link in the description bar down below, you can go ahead and sign up for that free trial, check it out. You don't really have anything to lose if you're within those size ranges and you want to check it out. Depending on how you guys respond to this, I might actually end up doing them for other retailers, like maybe doing like a mod cloth one or a Torrid or ASOS or whatever is applicable to the things that I purchased and the things that you guys want to hear about. So let me know what you guys think of the style file. This is something I've been working on for quite some time so it's like my little baby and I'm so excited to finally launch it. The thing is I always like to disclose that I have a personal and professional relationship with Gwenny B. They've been so good to me and so generous so I do want to explain that yes I do have a special relationship with them and that this video is sponsored. Thank you to Gwenny B for sponsoring my content. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started with the lookbook. So I think we're going to start out with this dress since I'm wearing it right now and I love it. It's probably my favorite thing in this whole lookbook. This is a polka dotted dress from a brand called S L N Y and I'm renting this in a size 22 which is my typical like dress size. This dress is more of like a straight up and down so even though I'm showing it mostly with a belt which looks fantastically cinched it's a little bit more of like a vintage 1920s style with a gunny sack dress where it's kind of up and down. This dress is also layered which is really cool and the inside layer only actually has the print on like the bottom hem of it. This dress has a lot of really cute details like the little bow detail up here. It's a cute little extra detail detail. It's got like a little fold over here, uh, just little extra elements like that. Sort of a light chiffon type material so it has a great amount of flow. It really like, you know, flutters in the breeze and all that stuff. This dress also fits me really well through the chest, which you guys know I have issues with. In fact, the next thing we're going to talk about, I have some issues with the way that it fits me in the chest. I have boob issues, okay? Hashtag big boob problems. I'm working on a bra guide for you guys. I know you guys have been asking for it. It is coming. It is happening most likely this month, possibly next week, if not the week after that. Just wanted to put it out there. I have this dress paired with a little hat that I got when we were in San Luis Obispo. It's one of my favorite hats. It actually has like a little cushion on the inside, which helps to absorb sweat. It's genius and it comes out with like a little velcro. It's just the little things that make me happy. I'm also pairing this with a pair of shoes from Cobb Hill. They actually made me their Women Crush Wednesday one day and I was like, oh, what the hell? Like imagine your favorite shoe company puts you as your woman, their Women Crush Wednesday. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna blow your freaking mind. Um, and I was like, hey, if you ever wanna work together, <laughs> hi. I love the red color with the black and white, which is why I wore red lipstick 
for all of these looks. This next outfit is a peplum top from City Chic. I'm borrowing this in a size XL. Um, the fabric of this is kind of cool. It's like a burnout velvet and it has these mesh panels both in the front which kind of shows my bra a little bit which I kind of like and then also in the back there's a little mesh panel that shows. Now I really like peplum tops with pencil skirts. I think it's a really good combination. It's super flattering every single time. So I've paired this with a pencil skirt from Eloqui. This is not a rental from Gwenny B. I've had this for quite some time but I've never worn it. I've never had anything that I felt like really suited this skirt and I love it with this peplum top. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this peplum top because you'll notice that in the bust it has like a slight like bulging out here um, and it could be the bra that I'm wearing so I'm going to try this with a couple of other different bras before I completely give up on it. The shoes that I'm wearing with this are just a pair of like little nude flats that I've had for a long time. They're not really super exciting and then the belt that I'm wearing is from ASOS Curve. I bought this several many years ago. I cannot stress this enough. When you find a belt you like buy it. This next piece is a black and white daisy print tunic from City Chic. I'm borrowing this in an XL. I really like this and I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it. Like I saw, you know, the new arrival of it and I saw the photo and I'm like, okay, you know, it's black and white. So I'm just going to like, I'm just going to do it to like make it work with this theme. But this is actually my second favorite thing that I borrowed. It has a nice elasticized waist, but it also has a drawstring. So you can even tighten it further or looser, whatever you want to do. Um, really nice feature there. I also love that this has pockets. Hallelujah. I love it when things have pockets. It just something about it just really makes me excited. I also want to mention that the button down snaps actually are functional. So this is a very cool dress. It's made out of a um, like medium weight kind of chiffon thin polyester fabric. So it really again has a nice flow. My sandals are from Torrid from last year and my heart shaped sunglasses are also from Torrid. So this next dress is from BB Dakota. I'm renting it in a size 3X. I have mixed feelings about this one. It's actually a very comfortable to wear dress. Uh, the fabric of it is a little bit on the thicker side, so it is a little bit warm for this time of year. The day that I filmed this, it was 86 degrees outside, so I was a little... I was a little sweaty. Really great dress. I love the asymmetry. I love everything about it. If it was like two and a half to maybe three inches longer, I would love this dress. So for my final outfit today, I have this really cute tunic from City Chic rented in a size XL. I absolutely adore this. In fact, I rented a similar version of this last fall in like a gold trim, which I loved. This top is actually really awesome. I love the high low aspect of it. The high part of it is not too high because sometimes with the high low top, it hits a little bit above where I'd like it to, whereas this hits at a really flattering angle just below the weight of my stomach and my hip area. The high lowness of it, I think in some ways almost creates like a framework for your legs. So it makes your legs look freaking awesome. Um, the leggings that I'm wearing with this are a pair from Torrid I got last year that are like a leather look. They're kind of like um, a little rough looking. I like them. And then these shoes that I'm wearing are from Sam Edelman. I'm also wearing my Heather Bell's necklace, which I adore. It's one of my favorite pieces. I got it in like a pop sugar box umpteen million years ago and it's one of my in fact the gold starting to wear off of it I need to replace it um but you know when you have like that perfect piece that you just wear over and over and over again it's actually worth replacing because you love it so much Thank you guys so much for watching this lookbook I always enjoy sharing these and talking about fashion with you guys this is so much fun for me I am so happy that you guys enjoy my fashion videos as well when I first started making fashion videos I was very nervous about it in fact I was talking with a friend about this the other day that it just felt like I was like starting this weird journey and I I wasn't sure if you guys were going to hop on board and you guys have just been amazing. Everyone is so on board and I one, one thing that I really love is that it's not just plus size people who enjoy my fashion videos. It's people from all walks of life, all body types. And while a lot of my advice does come from a plus size point of view, because that's the body I live in, um, you know, a lot of it is just general advice for anyone. My lipstick's starting to bleed because it's hot and it's creamy. So I'm gonna have to let you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out the style file at vintageyourtacky.com. There will be a link to that in the description bar down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.